Alright guys, so I have several things that I need to get done today, including I need to package some orders, I need to go to the post office to drop off those orders so they can get shipped out today. I also need to print some sublimation designs for some shirts. Um, I know I'm supposed to be getting in that t-shirt order that we ordered in the last small business blog, I believe. So I need to organize and inventory shirts. So I need to do this before I start um, pressing or sublimating the shirts. And then I'm obviously going to have to bleach and wash and dry the shirts and tag and inventory them before they can go into the shop. And then I know I also need to make some reels for Instagram and I need to finish editing a video and then I need to export that video and upload it to YouTube. And then I'll have to do the title, description, links, tags, and the thumbnail. And then I'm going to need to schedule that video to go up on a certain day. Oh, and then I'm going to need to do some type of DIY craft to go towards the end of this video because I feel like I haven't done any like crafty projects in my vlogs in a while or at least any like good ones. So I definitely want to put one in this vlog for you guys. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Sometimes as I'm doing something, something will come up or I'll have an idea. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing yet. So I'm just going to be putting DIY craft and I'll just have to think about it while I'm doing all these other things. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so I need to grab some boxes and some tissue paper and then the mason jars and then the thank you slash step-by-step -step instructions. And then I'm also going to need some aroma beads, obviously. So Stacy ordered the butterfly and flower kit and she ordered pink sugar in hers. So I'm gonna set that together. And then Julie ordered a cow and cowboy boot with Baja cactus blossom. And then Christina got the mason jar and cactus with Love Spell.
Okay, and then Taylor ordered a car freshie and some stickers. So we're gonna package her order. All right guys, so now that I have all of my orders packaged up and ready to go, and now I'm going to take these to the post office so that these can get shipped out today. All right guys, so I am headed to the post office. Well, not headed, I'm here um, so that I can drop off these packages so they can get shipped out today. Um, and while I'm here, I might as well check my PO box. So I will see you guys in just a second. All right guys, so got the packages shipped off. They are on their way to their new homes. But I got my first letter, like real letter, um, in my P.O. box, so that's super exciting. So I am stoked. I'm not gonna show uh, who it's from or the address, but it's from South Carolina. Oh my God, I'm so excited to open this. Oh, it's a little thank you card. It's so cute. Um, it says, Erica, thank you so much for all of your videos. You have inspired me to start my own small crafting business. I watch your videos all the time and you have taught me so much. Keep being amazing, Rachel. Rachel, thank you so much for this card. It is so freaking sweet. I will love and cherish this forever. I think I'm gonna have to like create a spot at home, like either in my craft room or my office, maybe like a little bulletin board or something where I can like hang all of like the cards and letters that you guys send me. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Rachel. I really appreciate you taking the time to do this. Um, it means so much to me. It was so sweet and thoughtful. All right guys, so now that I am back from the post office, now I need to go through this t-shirt order. Um, that order that I placed in last week's vlog got here. So I need to go through this, organize the shirts by size and quantity, and then I can put them in the cube shelf down here where they belong. And then I can make sure that I got everything that I ordered. I also um, am gonna open up this Amazon package that came in today as well, because it is something for my craft room. All right, now that all those shirts are put away, now we can open up this Amazon package that I got. All right, so as you can see here, I got another one of these like power towers, or at least that's what I call them. So I've had this one back here in the corner for a while now. Um, what I don't like about it though, it only has seven outlets. So as you can see here, I mean, until I unplug that one, I didn't have any free available slots. All of them have something plugged into each outlet. So I really just needed one that had some more plugs on it. But on this one, this one has 12 outlets 
And I like this one. It doesn't have the wireless charging part, but it does have three USB outlets on the top along with a USB-C outlet. So I think this is going to be really nice. Um, also, this one said that it was a surge protector one. So that's just some extra insurance for me anyway, because I have a lot of stuff plugged into mine, like I said, at all times. I'm just going to put this in another room and I'm just going to plug all of my stuff into this one. And that way I will have several open slots that I can plug whatever I need into it at any time. All right, so now I have everything plugged in. So now let's just switch this on. And now my LED lights are on. <laughs> Um, so I'll, I love this because now I have four open plugs that I can plug anything into. So as always, you guys, I will be sure to link this in the video description if you're interested. All right guys, so I just finished up editing this video here. So now I'm going to take my handy dandy hard drive, plug it in and put the video on my hard drive and then start uploading it to YouTube. And while it's doing that, we're going to jump back over to my craft room and I need to make a bunch of reels for my Instagram for the week. So I'm going to be batching some content, which basically just means I'm going to be making a bunch at one set time so that I don't have to make a reel every single day. I will already have some recorded and ready to go and saved as drafts so that I can just turn around and click post and they're good to go. Okay, so I have my phone on my stand mount on my rotating pegboard so that I can film myself at my desk. I'm just going to be doing some like simple tasks that I actually need to get done. But um, everything is content when you're a small business owner, like literally everything. So making some reels while I'm going to be filming myself doing tasks. So double content, you make the most use of your time. So I'm making reels and I'm filming my YouTube video at the same time. Pro tip, if you have a small business and you have multiple social media accounts, maybe you have a TikTok and a Facebook and an Instagram. In any case, if you have multiple devices that you can record on, then I definitely recommend doing so because it is a huge time saver. So a pro tip on batching content, anytime I am scrolling on TikTok, Instagram, whatever, if I come across an audio that I like, or I'm like, oh, I can make a reel or a TikTok with that audio, I save it so that when I go to batch content, I have a bunch of audio that I already had ideas for, already saved, and I don't have to go looking for audio. Okay, so now that I have about a week worth of reels completed and saved as drafts, now we are ready to move on to the next thing. Because I got some new t-shirts in, I need to make some more t-shirts to put in the local store that I sell my shirts at. I still have inventory, but the last time I checked, I was out of several different types of shirts. So I just wanna go ahead and restock those or at least some of those sizes. So first I need to print off my sublimation designs.
All right, guys, so like I said, I'm not doing a ton of shirts. I just needed to restock a couple designs. So now that I got those sublimated, I'm gonna head downstairs. I'm not gonna be bleaching those, but I am going to be slightly bleaching the Top Gun shirts that we just pressed. So I'm gonna head downstairs so that I can bleach those shirts. All right guys, so I just finished bleaching those Top Gun shirts outside. So while those sit outside for probably 15, 20 minutes or so, um, my YouTube video just finished uploading. So I'm going to type out my description, my title, my tags, my links, all that fun stuff, and then schedule it to be posted on the day this needs to go up. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys today, but don't go anywhere because tomorrow I wanna to run to Hobby Lobby so that I can get some cork board to hang all of the letters and thank you cards that I receive in my PO box, like I was talking about earlier in this video. So I wanna to run to Hobby Lobby to get some cork board so that I can make a space in my craft room to hang all of those up tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow. All right guys, so it is the next day. So like I was saying yesterday, um, today I wanna go to Hobby Lobby so that I can get some cork board because I was thinking about it um, in bed last night and I think what I'm going to do is on my closet door in my craft room, you can see like the door kinda has like this inset um, on the top and the bottom. So my thought was I want to get some cork board and I'm going to somehow attach it to the door Maybe I'll like paint the cork board too. I'm not really sure yet, but this is where I'm thinking about putting this So I think that's gonna work out But before we can head to Hobby Lobby while I'm out um, I need to run by the post office first because it never fails every single time I make a trip to the post office to drop off a bunch of orders nine times out of ten within a a few hours of me dropping off all of my packages at the post office I get another order so with that being said Christina I'm about to package your order and ship it out all right so let's package up her order so that we can take it to the post office and then we can go to Hobby Lobby so Christina ordered a butterfly flower kit so we're gonna grab this one and she ordered pink sugar fragrance oil so there's that. And then we're obviously going to need our box and a mason jar and some aroma beads. All right, so now that I have this order packaged up and ready to go, now I'm going to run this to the post office really fast. And of course, while I'm there, I will go ahead and check my PO box. And then from there, I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby so that I can get that cork board and come back and get that all set up. And then the plan is to finish up those t-shirts. I basically just need to tag them and inventory them, put them on my computer before I can put them in the store. So yeah, that's the plan for today. So let's go ahead and head to the post office.
All right, guys, so I'm back from Hobby Lobby and the post office. I did find a roll of cork board for $20. So I'm so excited that I can get this done today. But I think I'm more excited to show you guys this. When I went to the post office to drop off that order, I went ahead and checked my P.O. box and I had some more happy mail in there today. So I will open this with you guys. So first of all, this is from Crafting with Araceli. Um, I can't wait to see what she sent me. And this packaging is freaking adorable. Like it only matches my cowhide rug. But y'all already know, like, I love my cowhide, my leopard spots, like really any animal print I am in love with. And without showing you guys her address, it has this cute little sticker on it that says pretty things inside, which that is so cute. I didn't think I would ever um, have someone send me like an actual package. Like I thought maybe some letters, you know, maybe some cards every once in a while might, you know, get a couple pen pals going, but I didn't think I would actually get like packages. So I'm already blown away. <laughs> oh my God. This is so <laughs> Oh my God, I, I'm freaking out. Hold on. Araceli, you went overboard. You did not have to do this. Okay, so right off the bat, first thing I'm pulling out, um, this adorable little pen. There's glitter on it, which you guys probably can barely see the glitter, but it's a cute pink pen. And then there's these like adorable little beads on them. This one, like matches my nails and then it has like this cute little rhinestone bead and then it has this little topper on it that says boss babe and then there's this little um it's like one of those like wristlet that you put like your keys on look how cute so obviously we know she made this but it has like hot pink and turquoise beads and these like pretty like pearlized beads like they have like a pearl effect and then there's a little cowgirl hat this is adorable i am so stoked so i will definitely be putting my keys on this i am just blown away araceli you guys she even sent like a little refill for the pen how thoughtful and then her business card gotta give her a shout out so it's crafting with araceli and then there's her business card with her links and then the little mailer which matches her branding so cute and then of course she wrote like a little letter and there's like a little sticky note so i will read these so this says hi erica i'm so glad you opened up a p.o box i wanted to send you this wristlet for your keys along with this cute pen i love watching your youtube videos will you be doing another byoc soon that was the bring your own craft um like virtual crafting party live that i did and the answer is yes we definitely need to be planning one of those for sure very soon um that was definitely fun. Well, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you love the stuff I made, Araceli. And then it says, P.S. I hope you love the color combo of the wristlet. You know I do, girl. When I was thinking of a color, pink and mint slash teal came to mind. So obviously, like, you know that these are my colors. So thank you so much, Araceli. Like, you absolutely did not have to do that. That is so freaking sweet of you. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I will definitely be putting all of my keys on this. So I'm gonna be putting this little pen in my little organizer right here because this is like where all my pens that like I do all my orders and stuff with. And like I said, I'm definitely putting my keys on this like as soon as I'm done filming this. <laughs> Thank you so much again. I am blown away. Like look how amazing this is you guys. So freaking adorable. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, model the product for you or anyone that's interested in ordering from Araceli. So cute. So like while you're shopping, you can just put it on. Your keys are hanging right there. Your hands are free to grab all the stuff at Hobby Lobby. 
Anyway, so now let's get started on this cork board so that I can hang this card from Araceli and the card that I got from Rachel yesterday. So what I'm going to do is I don't want just a plain cork board. Like you guys know I have to be extra, right? So I'm going to cut this out to size and then I'm going to take it downstairs and paint it. I think I'm going to paint it so that it can like just match everything else in my craft room. So now that I have this sized and cut out, now I'm going to take this downstairs and outside to paint it. Alright guys, I'm outside. I have my cork board laying in the grass here um, and I have my spray paint right here. I'm using Rust-Oleum and this is the Seaside in Satin and then I'm also using some white first as like a base coat because I kind of want my turquoisey teal color to pop more because I feel like if I just spray it straight on there, I kind of feel like the cork board is going to absorb it and the color is gonna look just kind of dulled down. So I'm just gonna prime it with some white first and then we will come back once that's dry and spray the teal color. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and spray our teal color. All right guys, so the cork board is dry. So now we are ready to spray on our teal. All right, and y'all know I have to be extra. So while the spray paint is wet, I'm just going to sprinkle on some glitter. All right, so now I'm gonna leave this to dry and then whenever we come back out here, we will shake off the excess glitter and take it inside and mount it on my closet door. And while I'm waiting on that to dry, we will head inside so that I can go ahead and tag and inventory those shirts. All right guys, so we finished tagging and doing inventory of the shirts. Um, so now, I'm pretty sure this is dry. Yep, all dry. So now, I'm just gonna shake off all of this excess glitter and then we are ready to go hang this on my closet door. Look at how gorgeous that is. Like, are you guys even getting that on the camera? All right guys, so here it is inside. Maybe now you guys can get a better view of it. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put this scotch mounting tape on it. And bada boom. Now I have a turquoise glittered bulletin board that I can put my cards on. I am loving the way this looks, but I think I'm gonna take it a step further <laughs> and I'm not going to explain what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna set the camera up and you guys will see. I'm sure you guys are gonna figure it out in the first three seconds. And some of you may even be predicting it before I've even started. <laughs> Right, guys so here is the finished bulletin board on my closet door i am absolutely loving the glitter let me see if i can get like an up close shot for you guys it is gorgeous and then i finished painting the leopard spots i added a little bit of pink in there and without even trying to i matched my car freshy starter kit boxes <laughs> So be honest, how many of you guys guessed that I was gonna be painting leopard spots? 
I'm sure there were some of you that predicted that. But I absolutely love the glitter. I love the leopard spots. It ties in perfectly to, you know, everything else in my craft room. And now I have a gorgeous bulletin board that I can hang all the sweet cards and letters that you guys send me. And anytime I'm needing a little motivation, I can just come over here and read them and get a little encouragement. All right, guys. Well, this is where I'm going to be ending today's small business vlog. Thank you again to anyone that has placed an order and to Rachel and Araceli for sending me some happy mail. It was so sweet of you and I really appreciate it. So as always, guys, if you like today's video, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then click that subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any crafting tutorials or any other small business related videos.